you're going to go, wow. Yeah, you did, and it looks grubby. I, yeah, but that's okay, actually. Oh, no, but I'm we saying. Like, we like grubby, don't we? <laughs> Retired Colonel Dick Strawbridge and his partner Angel have come to France to buy a chateau. In that corner, we've got the uh, Castle Louvre. Off to France, speak a bit of Franglais or a bit of French or something, and just see what life is like. They're leaving England for good, putting everything they have into a brand new start. I think it might be a bit overpriced. This is all new. Standard of life, family life, fairy tale, and living the dream. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are. We're, we're actually in search of living the dream. There are hundreds of abandoned chateaus in France. You can pick one up for the same price as a British semi-detached house. Water coming in, contact. At the moment there is some water coming in. But you'll need to put in some serious work. There's a lot of flies. For us, we're just thinking, hold on, the price of a one bedroom flat in the east end of London, we can actually have a 12 bedroom chateau in 10 acres. We can't believe our luck. This one, about mm. 280,000. Dick thrives on being self-sufficient. This one we reckon about 200. 200, yeah. To save money, he's planning to do almost all the construction work and maintenance himself. It looks great, but we know there's no water and there's no electricity in it, and there's yeah. no plumbing. You're going to have to dedicate your life to DIY. The chateau won't just be their home, it'll be their business too. Entrepreneur Angel wants to run a vintage wedding weekend business based in the chateau grounds. She's a very successful businesswoman. She likes getting her own way. I'm a retired army colonel. <laughs> it's a little bit of this, you know. Dick's incredibly alpha male, um, and um, and I boss him around. <laughs> we want to give to the kids, don't yeah, we? Yeah. And we've got my mum and dad and my nan to look after, who are essentially another three children. <laughs> Dick and Angel won't be alone. They're taking Angel's mum Jenny and dad Steve out of London's East End and into the French countryside. Right, fromagerie. Fromagerie to the left. Right. What's a fromagerie? Cheese. Cheese making place up there. This next chateau is so new to the market, nobody's yet been to see it. Dick wants to be first. The, this oh. little. Yes! Oh, wow! Oh, oh, look oh, at right. that! Well, I think we should put an offer in now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Isn't that pretty? <laughs> good? First impressions are ridiculously positive. <laughs> and they want us to make an offer, we haven't even seen anything yet. This is truly beautiful. Built in the 1850s, it has 28 rooms, 10 acres of land, and plenty of outbuildings. I love it. I love it. I love it more. But having said that, we haven't looked inside yet. Common sense. Let's just think for a little bit here. We have to look first. That's a walled guards. garden. That's a walled garden. You see all the wires going up the side? That's where there's been plants in the past grown against the walls. It's years and years of work to turn it into something phenomenal. Oh, no, into I need the them to get here so they can just clarify that this is what, all, all part all of part it. Of it. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. You're in my house. <laughs> Dad, Dad, can you be very careful? This might be part of your wedding business as well. At 345,000 euros, it's just over their budget. This is our original roof. Yeah. Dick and Angel need to make a decision quickly. We've only just put it on the market and we see that we have many visits that are going to happen, so I would be surprised if it stay long on the market. There's a lot of work to do as no one has lived here for eight years. I'm trying to be sensible. This is a huge house. It's got the orangery, it's got the walled garden, it's got all these things going for it, but we're talking a lot of money to get it back to where it should be. It is so doable and it is so beautiful. Um, it's almost too good. There is a catch. A developer has just offered 50,000 euros for the walled garden. He wants to build two new homes there, right in the middle of the grounds. Not having the wall garden is, n is just a no-go for us. Yes, we need the stables. You need the whole place. Yeah, we, yes. we, I think for it to work for us, we do. 
So keeping in mind that we want to buy it and we're cash, we're cash buyers, what will he take for the entirety? If you say I, I offer 390 today yeah. for the whole lot, yeah. then I stop the visit, we give you an option and we sign a compromise in the next uh, two weeks. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> I missed the conversation. What did you yeah. say, darling? Have you bought the place? No, no, no. If we offer 390, they'll stop the visits and we'll get going. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Congratulations, eh? <laughs> They've got their dream home, including the walled garden. Dad, Dad, take a picture. They'll move in after Christmas and hope to have the wedding business up and running by next summer. <laughs> I hereby declare that we have found our property. The first vintage wedding will be a special one. The bride and groom will be Dick and Angel. We, we, we don't like fancy things. I don't buy designer clothes. I just, I buy our old clothes. I like old things. <laughs> That's why I'm with Dick. <laughs> She's found the one she wants. We're in trouble. Anybody can do it. It's just that we're actually going to do it, which is, I think is, um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for it now. Mm -hmm.